this video is demonstrating our prototype, uh, our visualization prototype in conjunction with Ohio University and Lockheed Martin. Here we are at the UNI Airport, the Ohio University Airport. We can see the buildings there in the background. Uh, and what we're looking at right here is an enclosure. And this enclosure has a GPS receiver on the top of it. So these blue lines that we see uh, are going to the satellites. Now these are the satellites for December 14th, as we can see in the upper left corner of the screen. Furthermore, these are moving as I have accelerated time to be much faster than real time. And we can see the red lines here are intersecting the terrain, thereby blocking satellite visibility. Which means that if the GPS receiver on the aircraft has red lines, it will not be receiving proper GPS signal. Now I'm going to slow down to real time and I'm going to move the camera over to the actual aircraft. Now this is real flight data that we recorded on December 14th. And here we have the GPS signals going to the GPS receiver on the top of the aircraft as it comes in approach to land on the runway. This yellow and green box right here is a very important indicator called the decision surface. The aircraft has to fly through the green box in order to be on course to correctly and safely land on the runway. And it's using its GPS signals to do this. So this prototype is visualizing all of the information required for the aircraft to come in and land. And you can see in the far periphery that we've reconstructed all of the buildings to scale for the uh, Albany Airport. And as a result, we're able to visualize and use very high fidelity metrics to compute the landings. So here we've seen the aircraft has just landed. And in the lower right corner of the screen, we can see that's the primary flight display. It's the pilot view. We have the speed in knots on the left side and the altitude in feet on the right side. And then the green bars in the middle is called the pitch ladder and then a compass below. And so here we can actually see the uh, airport itself and then more satellites intersecting with the line.